What's going on, everybody? Wanted to hop on here real fast and share a cool tip that I'm that I am using to try to grow my business and hopefully try to inspire somebody else to grow theirs as well. So I got my friends here, my photographer friends, and uh, I don't remember their name. I'm going to be trying to uh, plug them in with a cool opportunity today. Give me a hot second here. Make sure we're live and we are good to go and we're going to get started. So today I'm going to be talking about BNI here in Springfield, Ohio, Champion City BNI. So I got plugged into this group through a good friend of mine, and I, you know, because I believe in taking advantage of opportunities as opportunities arise, and when I do so, I feel it's my duty to share about it. So I, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was a visitor at our local Champion City BNI group here in Springfield, Ohio. And, you know, me being kind of new to this entrepreneurial business space, I'm trying to do everything that I can to network with the right people. That way I can not just grow my business, but be able to add value to the people that I'm trying to serve as well. Right. So I went and um, checked out this group and I'm like, man, these people like they're organized, they're efficient. They meet every Wednesday. There's lots of good people here. I know some people here already, so I know they're good people. And I'm like the camaraderie between the B&I group, between the, the members, I'm like, this is what's up. This is good stuff. And I'm like, what do I have to do to join? How, you know, what do I have to know? What do I have to pay? What do I got to do? Who do I have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to, I want to be in. So I, I'm going through the application process and you know, there's like, there's always like with me, I'm like, I've always got this, you know, background and all this stuff that I've been through that sometimes holds me up from, from, um, new opportunities. But I basically, so this morning I sat for an hour with some of the leaders from the BNI group and going through the application process and they're asking me questions like, you know, asking for references and asking why I want to join. And, you know, and I'm asking them questions and I'm, I'm just trying to learn more about B and I, and I'm seeing opportunities for, for, uh, these photographers here. And it's like, so this is what I know about B and I so far is that it's a group of business professionals that all, uh, I don't know if living in the community is a requirement, but so it's the local Springfield B and I group. And you can only have one person per niche, right? So for, um, so for like an attorney, there's only allowed to be one attorney that represents that specific space right there. Or for one person who does roofing, there's only allowed to be that one specific person. So there's not like competitiveness in that right there. And one thing I learned this morning is that there's no photographer in the B&I group here in Springfield, Ohio. And I'm like, what a huge opportunity. So I'm sitting here, got these, you know, got these, uh, these photographers that I know on here today. And I'm like, man, what a huge opportunity for a photographer to really skyrocket their business by adding value to a group of business owners in Springfield, right? So check this out. I know that not a lot, not first and foremost, I want to share not a lot of people think like what I'm about to share with you, right? And in my experience, this is, has been what has worked best for me. So I knew coming in the door that not a lot of people in this BNI group know know me as Eric, the guy that shoots videos, right? Eric, the guy that sets up podcasts, Eric, the guy that does these Facebook lives. Not a lot of people know me as that. So my offer coming in the door is, Hey, I'm the new guy. I'm trying to join. I'd love to be a part of this group and I'd love to work with you. And to show you what it's like to work with me, I'm willing to make anybody in this BNI group a video for free to highlight your business, to promote your, your customers or your clients or your staff or your team or your location or your thing, whatever that is. Like I said, Hey, I'll shoot a video for anybody in this room for free, just to show you what it's like to work with me. Right. And some people are like, Oh, that's crazy. Why would you give away free work? Why would you want to do blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, look, that is the quickest way to let people know how good you are at what you do the value of the work that you do. And that's the quickest way to get customers, right? It's the quickest way to get clients. It's the quickest way to get people to work with you is to offer your thing for free. So this morning I'm meeting with these people and I'm, I'm learning about all, you know, all the different opportunities that are within B and I and the value of it. And they said, well, we don't have a photographer. And I thought, good God, I know a few photographers. And I threw a couple names out there and they're like, yeah, they've been there. They've, they've, they've came, they've sat in, but like no one's committed to it. And I'm like, how could a person who is serious about growing their business not be willing to commit to something that could double, triple, quadruple their business in a very short period of time, right? And I get it. Not everybody has the time or the flexibility or the freedom or the, um, 
the resources just to show up to a meeting that that is every Wednesday and you know commit to this group wholeheartedly. I get that. But check this out. If you're a new photographer, right? Or you're somebody who's been in the photography game for a while. I'm just trying to share an opportunity with you that if if you're serious about growing your business and not like these two right here who no one knows their name, no one sees their work, no one knows what type of what type of quality or what type of value they add, they're not making any noise. So if you're a photographer that wants to make some noise and get some business, what I would do if I was you is the same thing I'm currently doing. I would come to this local BNI group that meets Wednesday mornings from 7.30 to 9, uh, hit them up on Facebook, send them a message, call them, whatever you got to do to get a hold of them to get permission to come. But I would go and I would say, hey, I'm a photographer. I'm willing to join this group. I want to build my business. I want you guys to like me. So one thing that I'm willing to do to earn your guys' business, your trust, and your respect, I'll shoot a a professional headshot of everybody in this room during the month of April, during the month of March. Here's my email. Here's my phone number. Hit me up. I'll come to your office. You can come to mine. I'll shoot a, a professional headshot of everybody in this room for free just to show you the quality of the work that I can do. And what do you think is going to happen from that? Not only is everybody going to have an awesome picture, if your work is good, everyone's going to have a good picture. Everybody that knows that business person is going to see that picture. And what do you think is going to happen from that opportunity right there? There's going to be somebody who says, who took that picture? I want to get pictures from me and my team or my event or this or that. And bam. Now you've all of a sudden got good referrals because you've put in the work, you've built relationships, you're somebody that people know, like, and trust because you've committed to a group of business leaders because you're a business person and you want to grow your business. So don't be like these two right here. They've said nothing. Nobody knows their name. Nobody sees their work. They're not making any noise. If you're real about your business, make some freaking noise. Do some work. Show people the skills that you have and add value to somebody for free until they're willing to pay you for your work. So that's a little short rant. I just wanted to hop on here this morning and share that because I'm doing it for myself. Like today I met a, I met a florist. I met a professional coach. I met some other people and I, my, my offer was the same. Hey, have you been thinking about videos? You probably think you'll look too fat on videos. You'll look too thin. You're too old. You're too young. You don't talk right. You don't look right. Mate, you're going to look dumb, right? All those false beliefs that people have about themselves which is what prevents them from doing the thing that they know they need to do. I said, look, let me come shoot a video for for you for free, help you look like a pro on camera. I don't want anything in return for it. If you like the video, that's great. If you end up hiring me to shoot other videos for you, that's cool. But either way, I'm adding another piece of work to my portfolio, sharing it with people who already know me and who are following me. And if I make the right offer to the right person and someone sees the content that I've created, boom, I've just landed a new client. So To some people, that might sound a little ridiculous. To me, it sounds like the fastest way to grow your business. So again, if you're a a photographer, professional, amateur, getting started, been been in the business for a while, like here is a huge opportunity for you to step up, to share your skills, right, to be of service, and to create a huge opportunity that's going to help you build your business, right? If you're real about this stuff, now I get it. Some people might not be full-time or some people might not, you know, just use their photography thing as a little side hustle. But if you're like full-time and you're all in, make a commitment. Come check them out. Like, I know you would get a ton of work. And and I'm not just, I've talked to these guys in these groups and learned about the business that they've got from these groups. And here's the thing. Joining groups like this is not about just getting business. It's about adding value. It's about making connections, expanding your network, letting more people know what you do. And the more you do that, the more business you're going to get in return. So hopefully I can check back in with y'all in about a week and say, hey, I've joined the local BNI here in Springfield. I am doing everything I can to join that group. Uh, If they let me in, great. If not, I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep doing my thing. I'm going to keep trying to help and serve people and continue to stay on my path. So just wanted to share that huge opportunity because don't be like my friends here who don't say nothing. Make some damn noise. Let people know what you do. Show your skills. Get more work. Talk to you tomorrow. Done.